Hi, and welcome to this video. Here I would like to talk about a feature we have added to the BioLink Gateway called a macro within a macro. So that sounds a bit confusing, so what is that all about? For example, if you have a list of commands that you send out quite a lot, so it could be maybe five or ten commands that you use often, and you don't want to add that to all of your macros every time you do a macro. So you can do one macro that does those commands and then you can add that macro within a macro. So for example, if often I change to a stand position on a TV, then I can just make a macro that calls this stand position and then I can call it from uh, a scene that for example when I do my coming home and I like to use the TV to point to my kitchen, then I can make that stand turning part of my scene. So I have already made here, to save some time, a macro that calls a stand position. So on the living room, the Avant, it opens the stand, sends the digit number two, and then exits the stand uh, menu again. Uh, and then I'll make a new macro, which is my scene. So I'll call it coming home. I want my scene to switch on the lights, so I will choose my resource in the living room. I'll say the spotlights should be set to 80%. I want my TV, my event, to switch on to a source source selection. It's a local source, so I'll choose false. And then I want to select my HDMI 1, which my setup box is connected to. I'll press add. And the next thing is I want to turn the TV. So here's what I'll do. I will add another command. I will choose over here a macro. So I have already made a macro that turns it to stand position 2, it's over here. So I'll just choose that, it's in the living room, I have it stand position 2. And then I can either fire, I can cancel, or I can collapse it. Fire means that it will just run the macro as it is right there. Cancel means it, it will stop the macro. So for example, if you made a macro that loops uh, again and again, then you can use this one to stop that macro from looping. If you had used collapse, it will just, if in case you have a lot of delays in that macro, it will collapse the macro, so it will remove all the delays, but still execute all the commands that is part of that. If I had used the cancel one instead, it would just stop the macro from where it is and don't execute any other commands. If I choose the collapse, it will remove all the delays, but still execute all the commands that is part of that macro. So in this case, I will just use fire, and then that's it. I will just add a bit of buffer time in order to make the TV start up before it sends the stand command. So I'll wait 20 seconds before sending the stand position commands. So that's it. I have made my coming home scene. I just have to add an event, the one that triggers this scene. It could be a virtual button from my, my building app. It could be a keypad by the door. Um, for this one, I will just choose a virtual button in my living room. I have one here, a virtual button called TV View. I will add that, either press. I can hold it or I can release it. That should be the trigger. In this case, I'll just press it and add. So here is a macro that saves you a bit of time. Instead of having to add all those stand commands as here as well, you can just put in a call to another macro where it's already done for you. So this feature is quite a time saver and I use it quite a lot myself when I do programming in the BioLink Gateway. 